folks welcome back to the shop uh, today I want to do kind of a follow-up on the uh, router plane video that I had done the other day for you um, and I want to show you a little bit about uh, how to actually cut that half lap joint I know I talked about it just a little bit uh, as an example of what you can do with the router plane um, and uh, I mean like I said there's lots of different things you can do with the router plane this happens to be what I'm doing with it right now as we speak um, so I've cut half of this joint and I'm going to cut the other half with you and show you how it's done and effectively both halves are cut exactly the same and they will go together so uh, let me uh, get up close to the workbench and I will show you how to do it. Thanks. Okay guys, what we've got here um, this is a three panel or two panel door where there's three joints um, that's going to go together and it's going to go on the front of this uh, jewelry box It'll have pieces intersecting here, here, and here. Um, so what I've cut here is half of a half lap joint. And the reason they call it a half lap joint is because, well, it just sort of laps over itself like this. And you can see where I've marked. Maybe you can see where I've marked there. And so this is actually going to fit down there to where it matches over top of the laps. And it'll create a big glue surface on both pieces uh, to work out. So what I'm going to do to cut this is start off by cutting the shoulder with uh, my saw. Uh, I'm going to scribe it with a knife and then cut it with my saw. Uh, and then we're going to make some extra cuts here, chop off the waste, and level it down with the router plane and we're ready to go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we've cut, what I've done is scribe the line here and I've drawn it on where I need to do. Um, use the square, draw the line on here. And the other thing I like to do for these, um, this is an idea I got from Christopher Schwartz. He calls this uh, different classes of cuts, first class, second class, third classes, and effectively how clean a cut. Now this being the shoulder, the joint will want to be real clean cut. So I'm going to take a knife and um, hold the square here and just go along here and cut real deep. You know, a couple passes to get a nice deep groove. Then take a chisel, I usually use a small one here, and I'm going to start working back just a little bit. I'm going to make me a little groove here. And what we're doing is we're making a groove to put the saw in. Now, if you're a Jedi saw master like Mr. Schwartz, you probably don't need this. But I'm not a Jedi master yet. So, um, I'm going to make that uh, cut here and we're all set now um, the other thing I did was I scribed the line here that you might be able to see and I used a, um, a uh, marking gauge and this one has two legs on it and this leg is set for quarter inch and the other thing you should probably remember and know about marking gauges you want to have a reference surface so when I'm using this marking gauge I'm always marking from the back surface of the joint uh, so I get the same. Now, theoretically, it should be the same both directions. But just in case you're off a little bit, it's always good to mark both. And I've marked it all the way around the end of the piece and then around this side. So I know where I'm uh, supposed to remove the material. And this is the waste, just so you can see. So what we're going to do first is cut this real carefully and make a very, very careful cut. Just kind of drag the saw back and let it make its own track to start with. Once it's made its own track, then you can start going with it. Just cut to your line. You don't want to cut any more. Uh, and we cut to the line. Now, we've got one nice, really clean cut right there. And what we need to do to make it easier to waste it off, or to knock off this waste end here, I'm just going to take a bunch of little nips here. Um, and these don't have to be accurate except for the depth. We, you know, we don't care about where they are. And by the way, this saw here that you're watching is almost 200 years old. Uh, made in 1840s. And it still cuts like nobody's business. I, well, I've sharpened it, but uh, actually, that's a new handle I made for it too. 
uh, old handle is in bad shape. Okay, now, looks like we're pretty good there. Again, we don't have to be real particular. These are just wasting cuts right here. Um, so what we're going to do now is uh, take a chisel. I'm going to use a little bit lighter chisel like that. And um, we're going to pop those off of there. Um, mallet there. And this is a nice wide chisel so I can pop them all off at the same time. Yeah, there they just kind of break off there. Don't try to take it all off at one time. Work it down just a little bit at a time. If you try to take it all off, you're going to make a mess. You can do them this way. You can come in from the end. I think either way is fine. Um, in this case, this is working real well. Okay. And then maybe just a little bit with without the mallet. Just to kind of trim it down there. And work down a little bit more. Now, remember, be real careful not to work past your line that you scribed on there. So, um, what we end up with is a real rough cut. The line is still here. Let's see, I bet you can put a pencil line in there and see where the line is. So we haven't gotten to the line yet. Um, almost on this side, not quite. So now, I'm going to get the router plane out and we're going to finish up that surface. Um, this is router plane. Um, almost got that blade. This is, has the uh, sharp plow iron in there. Um, again, as I said in that other video, we're doing this on the end of the stock. So if we're trying to hold this here, you can hold it down real hard on this end, but it's still going to have a tendency to wobble. So take another piece. Uh, this is one of the other styles. and put it over here on the side. And then, then you'll be all right. And so what we're going to do, let's push it because it work better. Uh, we're just going to work it a little bit at a time here. See how it's removing material? Um, they don't work well to remove a mass amount of material, so that's why you want to knock most of it off to begin with. And you probably want to come in from both sides. So um, we'll come in from this side just a little bit so that we have a nice clean shoulder on here. And now with this one we can work right across here. And all that waste pops off. There it comes. Now, when the plane stops cutting, you're there and you're all done. Now let's check our fit. Oh, another thing about this router plane, because this blade hangs down, it's probably a good practice to set it on something like this so that it doesn't sit on the blade. And I had this scrap piece of wood laying around for just, just that purpose. So now, this was a joint D. Let's see how it fits. All right. That's going to look pretty good. Um, I think that's real good. We might try trimming just a little bit more off of it. And the cool thing about the router plane, I'm going to leave these joints a little bit proud for now, which means too big. Actually, that one's pretty darn close. Uh, but later on, I might deepen that plane just a tiny, tiny bit and um, finish off to where they match up perfectly. Um, let, me, let me turn them where you can see the joint a little bit better. Um, so this is one side of the joint. This is the other side of the joint here. And look at that. Go, wait a minute, there's an overhang here. Yep, there's an overhang here because these pieces are going to actually have a um, what's called a rabbit along here, or a little ledge cut out of it. And that ledge is going to be along this piece here, right here. So this piece is actually going to be a quarter inch smaller. So then the overlap will fit like it should, um, like that. So it's going to sit just like that. The rails are going to be sitting there and then the these are the rails I think oh no the styles are going to come into the rails I think I got that right I might have them backwards either way this will be the front of the piece and this will be the back of the piece and you'll see 
once this is removed with the uh, plane, it'll go together in nicely, but it will match up real well. We'll have a nice, tight, strong joint. So um, there's your half lap for you. There's another one that'll go in there. Probably the same thing. That one's not the same size. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.